I'm back again for another video. I'm out and about with my dogs, Lily and Setu, having a wander around Newcastle, getting myself into mischief and trying to learn loads of cool new stuff. And whilst I've been out and around, out and about walking around Tideside in Newcastle, the things I've discovered, man, it's fascinating that I just missed. Ordinarily, you know, what we're like, we're just kind of walking around with, we're heading with phone, not taking in with surroundings, and you're missing out on so much. So in this video, I'm gonna to package together some of the things that I've discovered whilst I've been out and about that I think you're gonna find really interesting. It's coming up. Hello, my name's Eddie. Welcome to my channel, Tyneside Life. If you've just landed here for the first time, I cover football, history, culture, food and drink and stuff. Uh, involving Newcastle and the general Tyneside area. So if that tickles your fancy, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So every time I release a new video, you'll get an instant notification. Anyway, without any further ado, let's have a wander around and find out some cool stuff. So I'm in Baltic Square on the gated side of the Millennium Bridge and I've never noticed this before, but behind me there you'll see a plaque um, by Newcastle Gated Culture put up by Gated Council. Uh, it's about a, a permanent electronic timing system for anybody who's interested in walking and cycling and running um, you register on the website there which is on the plaque uh, you get some sort of chip which uh, or timing chip that you wear a bit like park run I suppose there's a start and finish thing on the pavement just just in front of me over there so it, it measures exactly one mile if you start from here on the gated side of the Millennium Bridge follow the road to this the swing bridge over the swing bridge walk along or run or cycle back along the quayside to the Millennium Bridge back over into Baltic Square that's exactly one mile um, and it starts uh, activates and finishes when you cross that little um, plate in the, in the pavement. So I never knew that. Fascinating. Can't believe I didn't know this. I didn't discover until recently the local Hero Trail, which stretches along the Newcastle Gated, uh, Newcastle Quayside here and parallel on the Gated side. There are 30 odd bronze plaques embedded in the pavement celebrating local heroes over the past 60 years or so and voted for by you. The public uh, include all the great and the good and TV personalities, sports personalities, authors, politicians, those involved in humanitarian work. It was unveiled by the late Sir Bobby Robson's wife, Lady Elsie Robson, in 2014. Include the likes of Sir Bobby Robson and Alan Shearer. I can't believe Lily's standing on Alan Shearer. Sting, Anton Deck, Lindisfarne, all sorts of people. So I've had a wander along there and having a look at them, they're spread out about every 20 metres or so and it's fascinating. A bit miffed like, can't find mine. What's going on? Something else really bizarre um, is the vampire rabbit or hare. So I'm sat uh, in front of St Nicholas's Cathedral and behind that are the cathedral buildings just there. And just there is what you call the vampire rabbit, but nobody really knows why it was put there. So there's been a few guesses as to why it's been put there. Um, perhaps it was inspired by gargoyles, but St Nicholas's doesn't have any like ugly faced demons on the building. Another suggestion is that it was named after an architect called Hare, but the architects were called Oliver Leeson and Wood. There's other theories that it might be connected to the Masons, but it seems to be there might have been some sort of alterations to the sculpture with the sharp teeth and red claws. But uh, if anybody knows, or if you've got any idea what that thing is above the the doorway of the cathedral buildings, just uh, just leave us a comment down below. So a funny little story while I'm here, the other side of um, St Nicholas's Cathedral on the main road there, which is at the bottom of the big market or the, the grow up market, uh, about two o'clock in the morning, about 2010, 2011, uh, Niall Ranger, the infamous uh, Newcastle United professional footballer who was with the club for a short while, was out, he'd been to a fancy dress party and uh, he was with his girlfriend, he was having a bit of a, an argument. It eventually led to the, the police arriving on the scene and he played up a bit, he was being a bit of an idiot and he wouldn't listen to the advice that was being given and he was eventually locked up. So he stood there in this convict's outfit with a black and white hoops on his uh, fancy dress costume with handcuffs on pleading with the police to let him go because he's going to be a training the following day. Apparently, apparently the inspector, who's a, a Newcastle supporter, actually had no sympathy whatsoever for him and he got banged up for the neat. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So I'm stood at the bottom of Westgate Road, about 150 metres or so from Central Station. And a few years ago, there was some excavation work going on just feet behind me at the old Mining Institute building. They're doing some restoration work on the, on the old Victorian building. And they found some sections of the old Hadrian's Wall, which is uh, absolutely fascinating. I love that sort of stuff. So the, 
They now know that Hadrian's Wall went right smack through the middle of the city centre. Still on Westgate Road, you've probably walked past or drove past that statue a thousand times and didn't realise who it was. That's George Stevenson, our local famous inventor, 1781 to 1848. And amongst other things that he invented was the, the, uh, the mine and safety lamp, which was used by local miners from this region, as opposed to the Davy lamp used by miners from the rest of the country. And it was commonly nicknamed the Geordie lamp, which for 150 years, um, as a community, um, Pittman were known as Geordies from this local geographical area, but also County Durham. And it's all down to Geordie, George Stevenson. I hope you can hear us all right, it's a bit noisy around here, but on the, the pavement which curves around the bottom of Granger Street, on the granite curb stones, there's engraved into them, it is 9,257 centimetres in brackets. How are you feeling to here? Quite bizarre, but interesting. That was done by the local artist, Rupert Clamp. So next time you're here, have a look, check out the engraving, you'll see it on the curb. So I'm currently stood in the big markets and I've covered this before in a video a few months ago, but there's a, see this bench, it runs all the way down uh, through the big market, this concrete bench, but along the side of it is the words to the famous Geordie anthem, The Blade and Racers, which was written by the gated lad Geordie Ridley back in the 1860s. So yeah, check out the, uh, you get the full words of the whole of the song. We're also on there, encrusted in the, in the concrete, or steel studs which represent the coarse barley that was sold during the, uh, the Middle Ages when it was a market. It's called the Big Market, but it was B-I-G-G, which was the type of the coarse barley that was popular at the time that they used to sell. Right, I think I've bored you enough. I'm going to pop into what has to be one of my favourite cafes in the whole region, is the Magic Hat Cafe, which is um, behind the Lang Art Gallery, city centre in Newcastle. And it's a food waste cafe. So they divert surplus food that would be wasted and go into landfill from businesses and shops and supermarkets, etc. They collect it, bring it here and um, recycle it. So they turn it into some delicious food, some really uh, wholesome foods. My particular favorite is the hash browns with the vegetables and they put some sort of mustard sauce on. It's absolutely gorgeous, but lovely coffee, dog friendly, Wi-Fi works, so quite often I'm in here doing some work on me laptop and uh, the, the staff are great, you just sit down, um, a lot of them are just volunteers who want to help out with um, the waste food mission and it's run by a non-profit charity called Bind, so yeah go check Magic Hat out, uh, great coffee. So that's uh, another video finished for today, if you liked it obviously give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified the next time I release a video. So, catch you later.